Hi guys, Steve Johnson, PGA. Today we're talking about the right shoulder for right-handed golf or the right shoulder in the downswing and what the right shoulder does or what part the right shoulder plays in the golf swing. Um, the right shoulder, the movement of the right shoulder on the way down towards impact on the downswing is three-dimensional. So the shoulder goes downwards, it goes down, so it comes down the way. It also goes forwards towards target, so it goes forwards. So it goes down, it goes forwards, and also goes outwards. So it goes outwards this way. So if you combine the three together, it goes downwards, forwards, and outwards. Okay? So we have to be aware of that and understand where you're going to hit the ball, not where you're going to hit the ball, but where your right shoulder is going to go when you play your golf shot. So an example of a poor right shoulder in the golf swing would be when, if somebody comes over the top, so if somebody comes over the top, they swing over the top and their right shoulder in that position, their right shoulder in an over the top move goes too much outwards and not enough forward or downwards. So it goes too far out this way. We're traveling this direction instead of going out, uh, sorry, downwards. So to prevent the over the top move, the player should try and think about the right shoulder going more downwards on the way down and then continue to go forward. So up to the top and then downwards with the right shoulder and then forward towards target. I'll hit one. Got myself teed up here. Just got a little wedge. So I'm going to go down with the right shoulder and then towards target. So back. Through. Actually chunked it a little bit because I was working so hard and going downwards. Fine. The opposite of that is the guy who gets stuck inside. Okay, the guy who gets stuck inside and he swings too much to the inside, which is here. So his right shoulder is not going forward enough. So his right shoulder's got too much downwards. So the opposite, so over the top, not enough downwards. Stuck inside, where the guy pops it way out to the right or hits big hooks because he's stuck in here because his shoulder doesn't go forwards and outwards enough. So a little drill we can do to get the correct three-dimensional movement of the right shoulder it's really pretty simple. We need to try and make sure that when we play a golf shot, just a little drill, just little wedges, that they come down the right shoulder, feels as though it goes downwards. So it feels like it goes down and then turns round to a position where your right shoulder is past your left shoulder. And you see I have to do it from behind. So I'm here, right shoulder goes down, follow through. My right shoulder is now past my left shoulder in relation to the target. Let me just hit one there. So this is just a soft shot, just to feel the shoulder going downwards and to feel the right shoulder getting past the left shoulder. Okay. Ooh. Nearly fell over. Wasn't my smoothest swing. Right shoulder goes down, right shoulder passes left shoulder. I'm going to hit one face on so you can see what happens with my shoulders. Let's get in here. Okay, so you should see that when I finish, my right shoulder is past my left shoulder. Okay, we go down. My right shoulder is now past my left shoulder. Let's give that a try. Shoulder movement, the right shoulder on the downswing is three-dimensional. If you're hitting slices or pushes or hooks, just check what your right shoulder is doing first. That may be the cause of your problem. My name's Steve Johnson. My YouTube channel is Steve Johnson PGA. You can catch me on Twitter at S Johnson PGA and also on Facebook at Peebles Pro Shop.